There's a hole in the ground and we're going in it. The thing about caving, they just come out of nowhere really, don't they? It's quite intimidating, this hole, actually. Fucking hell, that looks like something out of, like, the horror film, like... <laughs> you are absolutely shitting me. Well, the stream's not in full flow. Which, uh, oh, oh, that's not full flow. No, 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 it's fine. Here we go. No. That's the entrance to... Uh, Oh no 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 no! Three and no. a half hours of underground fun. This light isn't bright enough. <laughs> oh, there we it go. Will be when you get under there. It's pretty cramped, eh? You are sh no, that's, Mike. That's the wide stuff. No, Mike. <laughs> I really don't know if I want to do this. I'm, I'm literally, my heart's racing right now. <laughs> this doesn't seem like it's possible. <laughs> it is possible. Whose idea was this? Uh, beans. It's half a manhole cover. That ain't a fucking manhole, that's like where you put the dead. And that's the white bit. The initial drop is about six feet down, but it's really slippery and really very wet, obviously, because the stream's coming in. And uh, you have to take it quite slowly because, obviously, if you slip and break your ankle, then you're in a lot of trouble. And, and there's no L cap, very, and there's no back there. No, and there is, it is very slippery down there. Now, has anyone ever died in here, Mike? I don't think so. There's probably probably been a few rescues of broken backs and broken legs and arms and stuff. I don't think anyone's ever drowned in any of the sums, but I think people have been trapped here when it's flooded. So Maybe if a storm down, comes in, there's been a big storm. It's got really wet, and then people have been trapped. One side How do they get out? Do they ever send scuba gear? So it could be sometimes could be under there a couple for days. days. Yeah, yeah. There are quite a lot of stories of people being trapped for four or five days in And cell phones don't work down there. Within 10 feet, cell phones don't work because it's it's just limestone, solid limestone. Mike, why the fucking hell are we doing this? What just what is the point? Well, it used to be that um, climbers would always go caving in the winter when it, was, when it was too wet to climb outside, and so the skills are actually quite similar. Uh, it, you know, you basically get used to dealing with extreme situations and keeping your cool in keeping your cool in in situations that would normally really get you quite scared. I don't know about this, mate. I really don't know about this. Can you find? I like it. In the beginning, there was a lot of really small, tiny places that to get through, but and then it opens up into a big place, and it goes and it goes go a lot through real small, windy passages to big, open caves. Yeah, we keep going further and further down, and it's so weird. Like as soon as you go underground, it's freezing. It's a fucking cold, cold place under there, and uh, it's blacker than hell. You turn your head torch off, and it you you've never seen dark like it. There's just no resemblance of light whatsoever, and it's scary. I actually had to stop Jack from going any further. He's like a, a badger or a mole on a mission. Are you still with me, Jack? Yeah. Good. Ow, my nuts. The whole time we're going through these, these caves, there's running water everywhere. It's dripping wet. So it makes it hard to hold on to anything, and that means there's crystals everywhere, which make it slippy. Um, and then we came to this fucking huge waterfall and they lowered this like rope ladder down and it was just it was a fucking nightmare getting over that rope ladder and this whole time you're getting pissed on through this you're literally under this waterfall so you just soak to the bone and then it's just getting colder because you're going further underground This is someone, which basically is where the open air passageway finishes. And uh, we have to start holding our breath. No. <laughs> the sound was. The width of it was it about, about shoulder, shoulder width and height. You couldn't get through with your helm on, so you had to turn your head sideways and pull yourself through a fucking, just this water-filled cave, a little, you know, tube connecting two rooms together.
Because uh, on your breath rate on the water this cold. Yeah, you can. But it's not very long. It's, it's not very long, you know. Yeah, but still. It's mate. just a bit of a tight squeeze. I mean, look at that. That's like that doesn't look like your body can fit. <laughs> well, I can assure you, with the rope, it does. Is there another way around? I I just knew him when I saw Mike's reaction to how cold he was and when he tried to put a mask on, a, a snorkel mask on, and stuck his head on the water and how. He could hold his breath for maybe three seconds. I was like, no. It's it's hard to hold your breath in really cold <clears throat> in really cold water because your kind of body goes into a bit of a shock and instantly uses the oxygen to try and heat yourself. Jolly good. Oh fuck. I think if you're going to decide to do it, then you need to do it quickly. You know, because the longer we sit here talking about it, the colder you're going to get, the less likely you are to do it. Well, um, you guys lead the way. Well, can I go first? Then you go. No. You go? No, I, I, th I think I think it's really Mike and me. You know, you're, 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 this is just Osborne and German Frankie Dutch. Mike and me and German Frankie. We're here to encourage you. You feel comfortable with this or not? Mildly. Mildly. I just, it, it's a matter of because I know in cold water how long I can hold my breath for. And when I'm not used to it, you know, it's like. Yeah, you need to hold your breath for a maximum of it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds in the water is cold. Five seconds. Five seconds. Oh man, it's really nothing. This is India. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I just fucking. So you're in? Right, let's go, let's do it. We've done everything so far on the show. We haven't backed down from anything. And a part of me's like, come on, let's keep going, you know, let's not back down. But it's a long way up and we're already pretty cold now and we're not, you know, just half our bodies are wet. Being completely submerged in cold, cold water. We don't have wet suits on under here. Um Mike. I'm so indifferent. Actually, I'm not even indifferent. I don't want to do it, but I know that you should. I know. Same. I'm, 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 I'm exact same place. All right, we don't do it. We just literally was like, we sat there and debated about it for a good 20 minutes. Because that was the only thing we've ever not done on this show. We've successfully done everything. And it just, it just wasn't, didn't seem right. It was cold, it was wet, it was dark. My head torch sucked, by the way. It was about as powerful as a fucking cigarette lighter. And we were just all tired and like, no, we were done. And we just did the long trek back out, out. And I swear, I just wanted to get out of that place. So warm out here. Oh, oh. hallelujah! Woohoo! Oh. Wow. Look what I can do, Bean. Uh, What's this? Look. <laughs> I'm not hitting anything. Oh my god, it's it's actually warm. Oh my god, I'm not freezing. I am oh. still. Oh. <sighs> well, that was caving. <laughs> I feel like I've been down there about a week. I feel like it's been a while. Oh. I'm going to sum this caving experience up in two words. Never again. <laughs> Good one.